Hello and welcome to Mr Ridley's GCSE Engineering and this is Engineering Revision at number 6 and it is Plastic Processes. First thing you need to know is there are two main types of plastics. There are thermoplastics and these can be melted and reshaped over and over. And these are examples of thermoplastics and these are easily recycled. There are also thermosetting plastics. These are cannot or very difficult to reshape and they retain their form even in extreme heat. These are much more difficult to recycle. So thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics. Um, we're going to look at some processes for thermoplastics. As I say these are easily shaped over and over again so easily formed. Injection moulding. This is used to make complex 3D shapes such as toys, uh, electronic product casings and kitchen equipments. The advantages are very complex forms can be produced, high volumes can be mass produced and they can be self-coloured so they don't need finishing. Disadvantages are the setup costs and the moulds are very expensive and some very very complex shapes aren't possible. So how does injection moulding work? The plastic granules are fed into a hopper here. It's a picture of the hopper. The granules are heated and a screw here, a screw thread turns to drive the molten plastic forward. Um, this is then injected into a highly accurate split steel mould and the, pla the, the plastic is then allowed to cool, the temperature of the mould is controlled and the finished item is ejected. So these are the stages in injection moulding. The advantages of injection moulding, we can see here a cordless chainsaw and you can see this, this webbing and these bosses and all this detail which is only possible with injection moulding. They're not, this, this couldn't be, this product couldn't be created with something like vacuum forming. Blow moulding. This process is to make hollow objects such as bottles and containers. The advantages are it rapidly produces hollow objects with Naranex, i.e. bottles, so these kind of products. The disadvantage are moulds are very expensive, again it's a mass production finish and the surface finish is only um, is not brilliant and it's only suitable for thin walled materials. So not as versatile as injection moulding but a very quick mass production process. Here's a, a quick description of blow moulding. So uh, a tube of heated and softened material called a parison is extruded downwards. The mould halves close together, trapping and sealing the parison. Air is blown into the mould and inflates it against the edges of the mould. The mould cools, the polymer is released from the mould, the mould halves open and the product is extracted. So these are the three stages in blow moulding. Vacuum forming. This shapes thermoplastics, typically acrylic, hips and PVC. It produces hollow shapes. It's ideal for batch or mass production. Um, it can be an automated process. It uses a mould and that is placed over, uh, sorry, the, the plastic is heated over the mould. Vacuum forming. The advantages are it's a low cost process. It's quick. The upper mould can add extra detail such as logos and lettering. Disadvantages, deep moulds, if you have a very deep moulding it um, reduces, it stretches the walls and the shapes are limited to simple designs. Vacuum forming you may have used in schools, it's often used in, to shape thermoplastic here such as hips, so that's vacuum forming. Um, the process here, we just look at a flow chart of this. Um, a correctly shaped mould is placed in the vacuum former. The plastic is heated until it's soft. The mould and bed are raised so the bed comes up. Um, the, an air pump sucks the air out. Atmospheric pressure forces down on the mould and then the sheet is allowed to cool and can be re removed from the vacuum former. The mould removed and there's the sheet often trimmed to size. So that is the process of vacuum forming. Obviously a 10 degree release angle, here's a close up of the 10 degree release angle that is necessary to allow the vacuum forming to come out of the former. Line bending, this is used to make simple shapes um, out of sheet polymer such as acrylic. It's used for furniture, shop uh, point of sale displays. It's a cheap and very simple process. It only requires a simple jig but it can only really produce just simple bends. Um, 
here's the process of that and we just got a flow diagram here flow diagrams quite often come up for these processes in the exam um, so here we've got start thermoplastic process is held above a hot street heat hot strip heating element wait while the plastic softens then plastic on a former allowed to cool and harden finish there's a very basic one but it just shows you how you would how you would show this process in a flow diagram 3d printing um, 3d printing is a plastic process it builds up the layers um, of a plastic it melts a plastic filament and then just builds up layer by layer and the bed moves down um, so what's the process for this it is it uh, 3d printing is a process that uses CAD computer-aided design and CAM computer-aided manufacture how does this work someone has an idea they draw a CAD design using one of these pieces of software the um, printer software actually builds up the tool path or the layers and the design is sent to a 3d printer this could be near the printer or could be emailed to a 3d print company to make then the finished product can be made in ABS or uh, PLA and we'll look at PLA in a minute because that is a biopolymer um, so there's the process of 3d printing with CAD and CAM how does 3d printing work well the plastic like PLA is um, on a reel it is fed into a heated nozzle the nozzle lays down beads of plastic um, and these layers are built up and as each layer is laid down the bed moves downwards for the next layer and each layer obviously adheres or sticks to the one above it and that's how 3d printing works now it's time for questions plastic processes which class of plastics can be melted and reshaped over and over again thermoplastics which plastic forming processes process uses PLA which is a biopolymer it is 3d printing name three different plastic shaping processes injection molding vacuum forming and line bending which four of these molds would not work as vacuum forming molds number one no number two yes number three no number four yes number five no and number six no remember vacuum forming molds need a release angle to work properly plastic processes this was made by vacuum forming this product is made from high-impact polystyrene hips this process this was made by 3d printing this product is made from PLA this was made by blow molding this product is made from PET well thank you for watching Mr Ridley's GCSE engineering and good luck in the exam